Okay, let's talk about uh, what an AMU is or an atomic mass unit. Um, typically in chemistry, when we're when we're dealing with things in the lab, we're going to work with quantities of chemicals using using uh, the unit mole, and uh, we'll be able to measure things out in grams, and um, that's that's fairly practical. But when we talk about single atoms, because they're so small, and we're only talking one of them, um, chemists have devised a unit called an atomic mass unit. And what an atomic mass unit is, it's uh, 1 12th of a carbon 12 isotope. Okay, oops, isotope. And so if I look at what carbon 12 is, since we were just talking isotopes, carbon 12, carbon is the sixth element, atomic number six, right? It has a mass number of 12 meaning it has six protons, right? That's the atomic number, six neutrons, because it has to add up to 12, and six electrons, okay? Well, if you take those 18 uh, subatomic particles, mush them all together, that is carbon-12. Well, if you cut that into 12 pieces, then each piece would be equal to one AMU, so one twelfth of C12 is equal to 1 AMU. Now it turns out that that's roughly, right, there's 12 particles inside that, that carbon's nucleus. Well, 1 AMU is really close to the mass of a proton and it's really close to the mass of a neutron. If you guys look up in this table, protons have a mass, okay, if we're being nitpicky, of 1.007 AMUs and neutrons are 1.009. Now relative, they're, they're basically the same mass. So we say that they have a mass of approximately one AMU. Electrons, right, on the other hand, are uh, very, very, very small. They're not located in the nucleus. They're located in orbitals around, around the nucleus. They have a mass of 5.486 times 10 to the minus four. So that would be 0.0005486 atomic mass units, it's roughly uh, 1 18 hundredth of a proton or neutron. Okay, so they're almost 2,000 times smaller, right, than protons and neutrons. So electrons, generally, we say their relative mass in AMUs is basically zero. They're, they're negligible when we're talking about mass number. That's why carbon-12 we don't say uh, it's got like a mass of 12.001, which it probably does, um, but we just round it. We say the mass numbers are always whole numbers. So when we're talking about isotopes, we use whole numbers in there just to simplify things. So I may have uh, gone through some examples with isotopes where I use their mass number as, as the um, mass for a certain isotope. And that's a, that's a good... Um, approximation. If you want to be super precise, then you need to know um, what the mass of, of an isotope is, where it's basically a very precise number, including the mass of its protons, mass of its neutrons, mass of its electrons added together. Okay, and uh, then you can get you can get very precise isotope um, masses. Um, other than that, AMUs will only be used this chapter and then in the future, we're going to shift over to grams per mole. And we're going to work, oops, and we're going to work in large quantities. Or, and I'll call them working quantities. Oops. For now, we deal with AMUs, which is atom quantities like single atom quantities. Okay, so if you're just talking about specific isotopes, specific atoms of an element, you work in AMUs. So they're, they're kind of an obscure unit. Hopefully they're not too confusing. Um, just know when we talk isotopes, when we talk mass number, we usually talk AMU.